Hello nerds, Nick here, and in this video, short video, I wanna share my COVID story. Um, sorry I can't be there on the call, but as a next best thing, uh, I love the idea of everyone just sharing five minutes of their COVID story, of their perspective. And one thing I wanna share is a couple things I've learned by having conversations with people uh, on this topic, both with my friends and also my family. So my perspective about this is that um, working every day to maintain and optimize my health is doing everything I need to do to protect myself against an environmental threat, which COVID-19 is. I believe that my immune system is both more capable and more effective at fighting this threat um, than an artificial medical procedure um, that I can take. And so that's my rationale. I simply do not have um, anything that would indicate that my body can't handle this. In fact, I, I haven't confirmed it, but I believe I've already had this. Um, I've been around people that actively had it uh, and I'm fine. And all the people that I know, every single person that I know, regardless of their health status that has had COVID um, is completely fine after a brief period of struggling with it. And they were very mild. They stayed at home. No one was hospitalized. And so I simply don't have enough real life data or even, uh, you know, with a cursory view of whatever's out there, uh, enough evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that I need this thing uh, for myself. Now, some of the really important things that I've learned in having conversations with people, because what I uh, what I will say is that some people in my family, uh, both of my parents chose to um, you take the medical procedure. And initially I put up a lot of resistance to them to try and, and really what I was trying to do is just ask what data are you using to make this decision? I am going to fight hard to make sure you have all the data available to make a good decision. And what I realized is that not everyone has the ability or the bandwidth to really put time into researching um, the data, into looking deeper than the television. And at a certain point when they made the decision, uh, they were beyond the point of no return after they scheduled their appointment. And at that point, we simply respected each other for our individual choices and moved on. And one thing that I've learned is that when someone has already taken the medical, uh, had the medical procedure done, um, there is really no point in arguing who is right because every single person has a choice to make for their own health. Uh, all we can do is, with curiosity, ask what information they used to make that decision, if it's a different decision than us, and just be curious about what's out there that we might not know about and hope that the reciprocal uh, is also true, where people can curiously ask us what information we have to make us not um, want to take the medical procedure. And so, you know, my story is one of having lots of unproductive disagreements um, and then having a lot of productive conversations where we can share um, why we made our choices and also just respect that, that we made different choices and that's okay. What we do rally on oftentimes, even if we made different choices, is the concern over a lack of freedom of being able to choose. And so I think the rallying point for everyone, regardless of what choice you made, is to really be um, a stern proponent of the freedom to choose what you do with your body. And there's a lot of weird things going on that simply don't make sense, right? If you take a logical approach to figuring out truth and you follow the pathway of what's being done, you get lost. And it's because it actually doesn't make sense. There's no point in, I, I've relinquished the desire to spend energy trying to make sense of it um, because this whole thing is not about health. If it was, at least one thing um, would be said about health, about food, about sleep, about movement. And completely the opposite has actually happened where the conversation is uh, actually based on fear and making us scared into doing this thing. So I find it very um, disturbing, but at the end of the day, having productive conversations with people who chose a different path and sort of anchoring down on this notion that everyone should have the freedom to choose and um, us arguing and dividing more is actually um, what some entities might want, but it's 
on each of us to fight that and find ways to connect with other humans and be kind and respect each other's choice. And that's the biggest lesson I've learned is we don't have to, we might find it noble and worthy to convince people they shouldn't do this, but at the end of the day, everyone's gonna make their own choices and all we can do is find something we can unite on to um, find common ground. And I think that common ground for me is freedom. So thank you to everyone who's recording these stories. I look forward to watching them all. Thanks for listening and I hope you have a great weekend.